My name is Marion Payer. I'm a travel photographer from Austria and we are actually in my home country here in the beautiful Tyrol. For me, photography has been democratized by social media, so it's more accessible for much more people. And I include myself in that because I'm not such a technical person. So what I did is I just took casual photos with my smartphone and gradually and slowly I evolved. So in 2013, I had my first Nikon camera and then I upgraded to the mirrorless system in 2018. Travel photography is always a place of passion. People do that because they love traveling. And photography was for me the perfect tool to convey that passion to other people and make them crave for these same experiences. And that's why I also want to keep my photography as natural as possible so that it feels like people can really attain that same quality when they go somewhere. And I think this is kind of the art of travel photography, to show a place with its magic, but still keeping it close to reality. Inspiration comes very spontaneously to me. And I think that's key to being a good travel photographer, not being too stuck to the must-sees and the must-dos, but leaving some space for spontaneous encounters, speed with people or nature or animals. So today we're shooting with the new Nikon Z6 II, and I've chosen this spot because we're in the mountains, we have a beautiful view. The sun is rising above the mountains. And then we have these very iconic horses. They're called Haflinger horses. They are really local to this area. So they come from Tyrol, they were bred here. So it's nice to have a shot of the landscape. It's nice to show Tyrol the way it looks, but it's even nicer to tell a little bit of a story about this region. So when traveling, you cannot direct anything that happens, not on the streets and not with wildlife. And horses also move. You have to be quick and it has to be intuitive. So I rely on the autofocus. I don't use manual focus at all. And now with the new Set 6 II, I think I have more options to also use different kinds of focus modes that can help me with wildlife tracking even more. But you have to be fast. There is no way around it. And as a photographer, you have to capture that one moment that is magic. And if you shoot with 14 frames per second, you have a chance you know, to get that one moment. The horse photo that I was aiming to take should be something that represents two roles. So it has to have that feeling of the location. For me, the perfect composition was to show the mountains, the stream, and then the horses in between in their natural movement. I shot the whole horse scene with a 24-70 lens. That gives me enough flexibility to have wide angle shots with the whole scenery, but then also some more detailed shots. And you know that feeling when you come from a shoot and you know you got that one photo that you were looking for is just incredible. I think the options are endless with natural light. Of course, you have to be patient sometimes. You have to maybe also get up early sometimes to have a sunrise and have that magic light in the morning, but it's worth it. And I think these things you learn by using a camera. You learn to appreciate those things more as well. It makes you as a traveler more immersed in your location. We slept up here. Ramon Haas is right behind us and uh, we're waiting for sunrise. It's gonna be like one more minute, not even. I see the first rays of sun coming out there. So that's what we are going to shoot right now. We have the hut, silhouette of a person, sunrise from the back. I think with the camera, you discover new possibilities with light. You can go to situations that are after sunset, before sunrise, you can shoot in low light. You can push ISO up to places that a smartphone could never reach. One of the tips that I would give you is to maybe bring a friend or two and have some human element in it. And that's what a travel experience is all about. It should be real and it should be a human experience. Already fall, the grass is turning yellow. All these colors shine in the light of the sunrise. And I have my model back there, the hut here. And then I have a really nice boulder coming out there. So I have a cool composition that's framing my model. And I'm trying to place him at the exact point where I want him. Yes. Perfect. So I have a shutter speed of 1 800, which is okay when he moves. I'll still get a sharp and clear shot. A little more towards me, yeah. Now here in a setting like this, you can see there's a lot of clouds and the light is changing all the time. As a photographer, I'm always reliant on my camera to assist me in these situations. And the EVF, it helps me see exactly how the light is changing and how I have to adapt. Especially as I'm not these technical photographers, I just have to intuitively see on the screen right there, 
I have to make some changes. So I'm shooting at about 40 millimeter right now, which gives me a really nice framing with the grass here and then a hut on the right side. So I have everything I want in, in the frame, but I always shoot with 2470 to have a bit more flexibility. So I'm changing all the time. Yeah, sometimes you get lucky and today is one of those days. So I've got the shot that I was looking for. The light was incredible. Everything was perfect. So no complaints. You know, sometimes you have these photos in your mind forever. So you're dreaming about that scene and you think you'll never get it because many factors have to come together. Right location, right time, right light, and then also some element of luck and surprise. And all of this came together today. As a travel photographer, I prefer traveling lightly. So gear has to work for me and has to be lightweight, has to be easy to use and has to also not limit me creatively. I always carry one backpack so I can be mobile and flexible. My go-to setup is the Nikon Z6 II with the 24-70 2.8. That's the lens I always have on. I like a zoom lens because it gives me more flexibility. I have to be dynamic and adaptable to whatever happens. So this is for me the perfect choice and keeps me moving and keeps me easy on the feet. I do pack one inlay with additional lenses for certain purposes. Up first is the 70-200 2.8. If we are in the mountains like here, that's a perfect choice for me to just enhance my focal length. Secondly, I have the new 14-24, also 2.8 lens. This lens is incredible for interior shots. Of course, I have uh, some additional small stuff like a blower or additional memory cards. So really in this one little tiny bag, I have everything that I need for traveling in my photography. With traveling, you cannot take anything for granted and I'm thankful for each opportunity. And I know that sometimes I'll go to a place and probably will never go again. And there's only this one chance. So the camera is critically important in those times so that I know I can get the photos that I want to get, that I know that I can capture these moments that I'm looking for. In the end, the set 62 is going to help me enjoy my travels more, is going to help me be a better travel photographer and also a better traveler. I think both things go hand in hand.